Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Sean Armstrong, Director of Product Management here at AppNeta. And today, I'm very excited to talk to you about a major new enhancement within our FlowView service, the ability for organizations to create their own custom applications. This capability is a major enhancement to FlowView, which is a network usage analysis service. It actually inspects the traffic on your network and compares the real data streams against a library of over 1,300 applications so that you accurately and in real time know exactly how your network is being used. What are the applications your employees are running? How much bandwidth those applications are using? And see if there's a negative impact on the critical business services your business relies on. Lots of companies ask us how exactly we do that application identification. And this is uh, one of the, the core uh, technical features of the service. Uh, with the expansion of cloud-based services, and SaaS-based services, and smartphone apps, um, the number of different applications in use on your network has surged dramatically. And we are um, specifically trying to make sure you understand exactly where your network bandwidth is going. Bandwidth is typically the most expensive IT operations um, cost within your company. And understanding exactly how your bandwidth is being used before you upgrade to circuit is, is really a critical first step. So we've implemented some uh, very unique technology to make sure we have an understanding of exactly what applications are in use, including you know, the most recent web apps and um, smartphone apps in real time. And in order to do that, we not only go beyond the port and protocol matching that traditional flow solutions do, we actually go a lot deeper looking at the payloads, looking at the signatures involved in the specific applications, um, the conversational semantics, so that if you have a website that loads um, items out of a uh, content delivery network, such as Akamai, we can actually and accurately attribute the total bandwidth usage of that website and not just the um, cost and load coming from the, the core domain. Uh, do deep protocol dissection. So if you have a web browser, for example, that has a video stream that may come over different ports, different protocols, or launch a separate application, we can accurately uh, track that back to the originating application. And uh, behavior on statistical analysis. We have well over a thousand organizations using this technology today, and we can use the wisdom of the crowd to identify new applications in use in the field uh, so that we can very quickly and easily add new apps to the default library uh, on a weekly basis. But even so, there's still going to be unique applications that we're not going to see um, in our large customer base. Things that are 100% unique to your environment or applications you use in a slightly different way than, than everyone else. So we wanted to make sure we had the capability for companies to quickly and easily add these applications to our service. Within that, there are, there are two main types of custom applications. The first off is editing an application. So this is, you're taking one of our default applications within the service and you're customizing it for your business. Uh, this is something where we have accurately identified an application as, for example, web traffic. Um, just It's classified as HTTP or HTTPS, but you know that HTTP traffic going to a specific host name or a specific IP address within your environment is your intranet or some other homegrown solution that we've never seen before, but you know what it is and you want it accurately represented within all of our reports and our user interface. Uh, so we've added that capability to, to very quickly and easily um, add variations to these default applications or also make your own custom versions of them. And I'll show a live example of this later, how easy it is to, to you know, break off traffic going uh, over HTTP to the internet and say, oh, you know, that is, um, streaming of the NCAA basketball tournament, which is actually happening today. The second case is for truly custom applications. These are scenarios where it's a, an application truly unique to your environment. Uh, maybe it's a legacy system, and you know the traffic going over this port on this protocol to this subnet or this host is this custom application. Uh, this is very common in large enterprises. They build their business on these unique applications built in-house and we're never going to see it anywhere else, you want to know exactly the bandwidth consumption by these critical apps, but they're never going to be in our default library. So we've made it extremely easy for you to add these applications uh, directly within our user interface so that you can observe exactly where this, where this bandwidth is going, um, 
isolate it down to just that custom application, and then with just a couple of clicks, add that application to uh, FlowView so that all of your reports and alerts are accurately representing the application consumption within your company. So with that, I'm going to drop into a live demonstration of the service so that you can, you can see how easy it is to do this. So right now, I'm in um, our Flovi environment looking at um, the AppNeta offices. And I'm going to take a look at the office here in Boston. And we can see right now, you know, we've got, you know, about 11 megabits a second uh, overall consumption within our environment. We see, you know, a number of top applications in use. We'll, we'll drill in and see exactly what uh, the sales team is, happens to be doing on the internet today. Um, we can see a lot of HTTP traffic, uh, RTP traffic, Freenet, which is a file transfer service. Um, but I may want to take something in uh, one of these applications and reclassify it. For example, um, we actually have our marketing team here, and we specifically want them to be on Facebook. We have a company Facebook page. We want uh, them promoting uh, shows we're going to be at and new features within our service, make sure people are aware of it. We also tell our sales reps to do that as well. So uh, I'm going to reclassify Facebook. I'm going to update it from its default classification and change it from a recreational application to a business normal application. That's something we're telling people to do. I don't want to artificially flag it as recreational traffic. Um, so I'm, I'm going to remark that as recreational. I just, sorry, I just have to give it a quick custom name. Save that off. And now my application has been saved. Um, I, I will have to add it to an appliance, and I'll explain that in just a second. Um, I also want may want to... Um, take one of these um, applications that are currently classified under HTTP and drill down into that further. Maybe there's some websites in use that I want to take a deeper look at, see exactly what's happening there. So um, as I mentioned, we happen to know that there's um, the NCAA tournament, basketball tournament kicking off today. And this website here is, is actually um, used for streaming um, the NCAA basketball tournament. Um, so what I'm going to do here, let's, let's drill into this a little bit further. With this, I can see the individual um, sources and destinations, um, you know, how much bandwidth is used by the specific service, the uh, computers are actually communicating with it, and how much traffic they've actually streamed. Um, and part of that is what, what is called a conversation. So we know traffic from this source to this destination on this port and protocol, um, how, much, um, how much traffic volume that actually is, and then expand that to look at all the different uh, ports, all the different protocols used there. Uh, where this comes in handy is that I can easily take one of these conversations and say, all right, I want to use this um, traffic I'm actually observing and add it as a new custom application. Um, it happens to be TCP traffic to, to this IP. Um, I want to know about that. Uh, but I may want to make it easier uh, because the way HTTP works and the way a lot of different applications work, um, they will negotiate ports. And they'll you know, typically be um, an origination port to say, Um, all traffic will start at evousa.com. Uh, I'll do star.evousa.com. Uh, and once they negotiate start that video stream, the traffic will then negotiate um, specific port protocol combinations after that. But by starting the traffic looking at the origination stream, the HTTP stream, any uh, combination of port protocol which are negotiated after that will automatically be picked up. Um, give it a name. Uh, give it a description and classify it. This is recreational traffic. It is streaming media. And you know, there's minimal risk in doing this. The, this information is used to make searching and categorization and uh, sort of aggregate presentation uh, in our user interface easier. So I'll save those off, and my new application has been saved. I can do this, like I said, from in the abstract, looking at um, 
if I know exactly what port protocol is used, I can I can build it from scratch, or I can look at the actual traffic on my network and branch that off and make it um, a new application. Additionally, I can go in and manage my applications, see which new applications have been created within my environment. Um, I can also create variations of any of these. So um, we can see you know, we have a number of, of specific apps that we've created, we've defined, and we've added to our specific business services. Or I can say, um, I know that uh, we actually use um, Linux for all of our core services. A number of um, BitTorrent clients will actually um, use, um, uh, BitTorrent is used for the distribution of, of, of Linux ISOs, so I could easily make a variation of BitTorrent, uh, isolating it to BitTorrent to specific hosts, say BitTorrent streams to redhat.com are okay, uh, BitTorrent streams to anywhere else on the internet is not okay, and classify those as two different types of applications with two different rules and two different um, uh, report sets of report logics within the within the product itself. I can very easily branch those off and create those. And once I actually define them, I will apply them to specific appliances. So I just created this um, this is streaming. I want to apply it. I can choose all of my appliances or just specific ones. I hit apply, and that new application will start to show up in my real time data streams within Flowview. As you can see, it's very easy to customize. You can observe the traffic on your network see where traffic is either unclassified or underclassified. We may accurately identify this is HTTP traffic, but you want to know exactly um, what that HTTP traffic is. Is it an internal site that you guys use regularly? Is it a common website that just doesn't happen to be in our 1300 default applications? You can easily add those based on your organization's actual network usage, or you can define one from scratch. Define your specific port protocol combinations, I know TCP going to this IP address or this range of IPs or this CIDR range or this you know this subnet on my network um, using TCP in this this port is a specific application or flag it as all HTTP going to star.appneta.com. I want to make that a new host called Appneta you know Appneta website. I can see the traffic there. Um, same thing for TLS. This is secure web traffic. Um, all traffic over HTTPS going to this domain. I can classify that quickly and easily as a new application. So this is something you, you don't need a lot of extensive training on. You can do it in just a couple of minutes and make the presentation of network usage information that much more valuable. And like I said, you define these applications for your organization as a whole, and then you choose which appliances you apply it to. Why this is so valuable is that it enables organizations to create a standard set of applications to find you know, really at a company level, and then choose exactly which combinations of those are enforced in which specific locations. There will very often be regional differences or cultural differences as to what sites, what web what websites, what um, smartphone apps are used in, in different geographies. This lets you define one standard list for the entire company um, and then apply it to just the regions where they actually make sense. So that is a, a very quick demonstration of the custom application service uh, within Plovio. We're, we're very pleased and very happy with the capability we're able to bring into this. Um, and this service will actually go live next Monday night, March 24th, uh, on all appliances licensed with Plovio. So this capability is included with the core service. Um, you will, there will be an update to your appliances. Um, and once that update is applied, either automatically um, or you choose to do it on a scheduled basis or on demand, uh, within the web UI, you'll be able to easily create these custom applications for you and your organization. We don't place a hard limit on the number of custom applications you can create, um, but our general best practices are create as many applications as you want. Um, only about 50 custom applications should be applied on any appliance at any given time, uh, just to make sure everything runs as, as quickly as possible. And within any given application can have up to 100 rules. So, for example, that NCA basketball streaming happens to be running from NCA.com, CBS.com, TNT.com. I could add a rule for each of those and say any streaming media going to any of these you know, 50 different uh, uh, domains, I want to classify that as NCA basketball uh, video. Uh, those would all be custom rules within a single application. So this can very easily scale to very 
complex uh, applications without consuming all these resources. So next Monday night, March 24th, this new service will be available. And for anyone out there who has Pathview appliances but don't have FlowView licenses on them and you want to, to give this capability a shot, please contact your sales rep and we can enable a trial of FlowView for you very quickly and very easily. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today.